Hello everyone, I'm back with another lesson. I, Yang Chin Longmu, once again welcome you for another online class on English literature. And the topic of my lesson today is a brief explanation of Thank You Ma'am, written by Langston Hughes. Before I start with my lesson, let me repeat the drill. Reading of the story is mandatory. This video is not a substitute for your main textbook, okay? If you haven't read the story, please read it and then watch the video. Okay, now, I will talk about the author, Langston Hughes, then talk about the brief explanation of thank you, ma'am, and give you some sample questions and end with the summary link. Okay, now Langston Hughes, his actual name is Zemio Merkel Langton Hughes. Okay, he was an African American poet, social activist, novelist, and a playwright. He was another important voice for Negro people or black people. Therefore, in his time, the Negro people was in vogue, was in fashion, was in highlight because he proclaimed, he talked about the, you know, um, the problems and the worries and the needs of black people in America. Some of his important works are Blues, Not uh, Without Laughter, The Way of White Folks. Now, coming about or talking about my main topic. Now, Thank You Ma'am is a story of about a sympathy expressed or sympathy or lenity expressed by a woman to an urchin or a boy. Okay, and this is um, also talks about the story talks about the acknowledgement. Okay, acknowledgement shown by a boy for kindness expressed by the woman to the boy in, in terms of a small brief thank you. Okay, now the setting of the story is somewhere in the streets of America, and here enters a large woman with a large purse, and the purse is she had a single strap and she had slung across her shoulder. It is dark at night, eleven o'clock. She is walking on the street all alone at night, and suddenly from there nowhere, a boy ran up to her from behind and tried to snatch her purse, and the woman is shocked. So, unable to maintain the balance, uh, balance of the boy's weight and the purse, the boy fell on the ground and on his back and his legs are flew up. Okay? And the woman is like shocked. Oh my god, there's a thief, there's a robber. And then she tries to kick the boy. And after that, she commands the boy to pick the purse for her. And you know what she says? Okay. She says, Now, aren't you ashamed of yourself? And the boy said, Yes, ma'am. So the first scene highlights to you the fact that the boy is ashamed of his action. He is caught, okay, and then he he is guilty for all his actions. So now, what are the two important um, repercussions or consequences that you would do? The woman would either take the boy to the police station or call the people around her and would have got him beaten, right? These are the two probable things that we would do. But then let's see what the woman does. Next. Okay. Then the woman, you know, the woman speaks to the boy and she says, If by chance I leave you loose here, because the woman is holding him, okay. If by chance I leave you here, will you run away? She's speaking to the boy. And the boy says, Yes, ma'am, I will run away. Then then she will decide not to leave the boy. And while having that conversation, the woman notices the expression or the or his face and there she says and your face is dirty oh my god now she is observing what his face and she observes that his face is dirty okay I got a great mind to wash your face for you instead of handing him to police station or policemen or to people around her what she does she thinks of washing his face isn't it strange okay then he looked and what kind of a boy he was how did he look like what kind of appearance he had okay and the line says he looked as if he were 14 or 15 years old like a teenager right frail and willow meaning weak probably out of poverty or no food or lack of food he would have been weak okay while in tennis shoes and blue jeans so he was wearing what 
blue jeans and a tennis sh and tennis shoes okay and you ought to be my son i would teach you right from wrong least i can do right now is to wash your face are you hungry so the boy is super scared he's very scared he would definitely think that now he's caught and he would get what punished by this woman so he's scared he did not actually expect the women to wash his face or take him to her house to you know feed him and the boy is actually shocked when he hears that the woman wants to take him to her house to wash his face and to feed him and the question actually startled him which question are you hungry now imagine i'm walking on the street and a thief comes and try to snatch my purse will i tell him are you hungry sir no right that is not expected from me to tell him are you hungry sir do you want anything but then here the child is actually shocked to hear this kind gesture or kind word from mrs lula bates washington jones the women's name is lula bates washington jones okay and what happens the woman finally takes the boy to her house and the name of the boy is roger okay so the two important characters are here who roger is the name of a boy okay and the large the uh, name of the large woman is lula bates washington jones and she now takes the boy to her house and you know makes him sit on the in a, in her hall and she keeps the door open and the boy hear other sounds coming from other rooms and there he understands that the woman is not alone so therefore they are sitting there in the corner okay in the hall and next they'll have a conversation okay and the woman says i believe you're hungry or being hungry to try to snatch my pocket book now there she begins the inquiry okay because she wants to know what is the main sole reason for him to steal or snatch the purse or pocket book of that woman okay and therefore she asks what would be the reason uh, definitely hunger would be one such reason for you to uh, steal my pocket book or purse and the boy in turn replies saying i wanted a pair of blue suit shoes said the boy so can you see why he wanted to steal away the purse not for food not for anything but what he wanted to buy a pair of blue suit shoes okay you could have asked me said mrs lula bates now this is another important um i in fact the answer which i've seriously loved it and a very important line because how kindly how sweetly the women in pat reply saying you could have just asked me oh my god there's another kind woman who's saying you could have just asked me i would have easily given you some amount or some dollar if you wanted to buy that shoe and there the boy is startled from where on earth this woman has come who's so kind to me instead of punishing me for my actions she has taken me to her home feeding me washing my face taking care of me so concerned so slowly and eventually what ha what is happening there is a change in the emotion of this boy earlier he wanted to steal but now there is a psychological change that is happening in that boy after looking at the response at the response of that kind woman okay now there's a slight another um, subplot in the story okay um it is also untold confession the title given by me but the actually thing uh, the main idea talks about that only now then the woman says i were young once and i wanted things i could not get okay like the boy when the woman was young or she was at a young age even she wanted to buy things but then she could not get because of a lack of money she apparently she didn't have money so she could not buy those things and similarly she tells the boy that you know at your age even i wanted things to buy but then i did not have money okay and the boy would have thought in his mind that oh, obviously the woman now will scold me saying that even though i wanted to buy things and i did not have money but i did not steal like you okay was what the boy was thinking in his head and would have thought that now the woman is coming on a point and now the woman will scold me there is a psychological thing that the boy would think right but now what the woman says 
there's a pause, there's a silence. And the boy is just thinking in his head and a woman is looking at the boy. And she says, I have done things too, which I would not tell you, son, neither tell God. If he didn't already know. Okay, so this is like the first line she says. Every human being on earth does some sort of mistake, right? Commits mistakes on earth. And there's nothing new about it. You might run that comb through your hair so you will look presentable. So after saying that she what she does is she says that she says to boy that she would go and set the table for food. Till then the boy can you know comb his hair and look presentable and the boy is flabbergasted he is in utter shock he understands at that point that everyone on earth does some mistake and every time punishment torture bitterness scolding whacking is not the solution even the woman who is very kind and generous in front of him, standing in front of him, has done some mistake in her past and would not even reveal to God if he didn't know about it. But then the woman is so kind. Okay, so she has now, when she goes to set the table for food or to arrange the food, you know what she does? She leaves her purse, which the boy wanted to steal, behind her okay okay and on the couch where the boy is sitting and leaves the room to set the table so that time it shows that the women now what trust the boy the feeling of trust and now the boy he did not he or he does not want to run away from that place because he does not want to be mistrusted now once again in order to keep that faith and trust, what he does is stays on the couch and doesn't even touch that purse because he's so amazed, so thrilled, he's so shocked because he's, un he's just a boy of some 15, 16 years old and he is understanding now what is to be like kind. He's experiencing how is to be self-respected. Okay, now see what he does. Now the boy is sitting. Uh, on the couch, the woman is setting a table, okay, in the kitchen, making coca, making ham, beans for the boy, and the purse is there. And from the door, he can just look at or can stare or can see the large woman, okay. The woman did not watch the boy to see if he was going to run now, nor did she watch her purse, which she left behind her on the day bed. So, I told you before, right? This is trust. You have to trust someone. And the woman has trusted now whom? The boy, Roger. And now the boy who has regained that trust once again does not want to lose it and does not want to get mistrusted again. So therefore, he what he does? He sits there without doing anything, okay? Do you need somebody to go to the store? Asked the boy. Now what happens? There is some sort of conversion. The boy who wanted to steal the purse before now asked Miss, Mrs. Lula Bates Washington Jones if that if she wants any help from him. Okay? Or to go to store or to get some milk for her. Can you see the conversion here? Conversion in the change of emotion in his attitude of a boy? Did she even try to whack him, beat him, punish him? No, right? Just by a simple act of kindness, there is a massive change that is happening in the attitude or the perception of the boy. Okay. Conversion. The next feeds the boy. So now the table is all set with food. She calls the boy and the boy sits on the table with Mrs. Lula Bates Washington Jones and the table is filled with um, lima beans, ham and coca. Okay. So they are happily enjoying their meal and then they have a conversation. Okay. She talks about herself. Now the woman could have then inquired about the boy's family background, about the boy's needs, about the boy's um, all that thing, his life and would have easily insulted the boy or would have felt him low or just a piece of rag 
adult right if she would have desire to do so but no she doesn't do that okay she doesn't do that because because rather she starts talking about herself by profession she's a beautician who works in a beauty parlor and then she has to come across various kinds and several people like spanish people blondes and reds and so many other people or customers in a parlor and she talks about her days that she spent in a parlor so just like the boy is eating and then he's listening to the woman this is there is a silent exchange of emotions that there's so many things that's running in the boy head boy's head and is understanding oh this is called self respect oh um, punishment is not the solution for all the time solution for something wrong you can mend it you can correct it through the act of kindness or gesture is what the drilling process is happening in the boy's head okay then then women says eat some more son she said oh my god here is like the complete she has evokes the feeling of motherly love son she has you know associated the boy with son son is someone whom you dearly love the person right a mother loves her son dearly unconditionally isn't it likewise here the woman is loving whom this unknown boy somewhere out of the blue he has come and tried to snatch away this purse whom she even doesn't know now she is associating that weak child that helpless child as her son isn't it very very touching it is right then comes the conclusion okay the ending part now now there's a shift in the conversation and the woman says now here take this 10 dollars and buy yourself some blue suit shoes and next time do not make the mistake of latching onto my pocket book nor nobody else's now here she does what surprisingly she takes out 10 dollars from her pop purse and hands it over to the boy and she tells him to behave properly and not to steal further from anyone else's pocket book right and the boy i'm sure in his dreams or he wouldn't have expected such gesture kind gesture from the woman still she does rather punishing him she rewards him with what 10 dollars at the same time she teaches him what good manners behave the last line she says behave yourself boy this is the most important lesson the women wants to give the boy is to behave properly in life there are so many things even i want in life but then that does not mean that i have to go and steal and hunt from people right i have to work hard earn money myself independently buy things for myself right likewise the women is also teaching the boy the same lesson to the act of kindness and love and not by whacking him beating him you know throwing him around there there that is the huge and the massive or a mammoth impact that has made imprinted in boy's heart the boy wanted to say something else other than thank you ma'am the boy wanted to tell him so many things so many things express the feeling of gratitude but he couldn't do beyond just saying thank you and in that way the woman leads him the boy to the door front gate of the door and just bids him farewell and the boy just could say thank you and the woman locks the door and there's the end of the story now what can you see here is Lula Bates Washington Jones has taught this boy amazing lesson of life through her action of kindness okay has taught him the meaning of self respect respect generosity love all through her action by setting herself as another role model or example 
fear is one such thing which you can instill or inflict in someone and can correct it right and correct someone yes i understand there are several ways and several ideas to correct someone if someone commits a mistake you are punished correct that is one way to solve the matter or to improve the person or to correct the person next insanely beating the person that is also another example of massive punishment the third one is through kind gesture or through love or just being another example of kindness or embodiment of kindness and a virtue to that we also you can what happens direct or carefully nurture um a teenager so in that we hear the story highlights the importance of the a uh, role of adults in um children's life you know an adult or any adult if he or she wants to correct his or her son or anybody sister brother anyone or the junior or anyone firstly he himself or she herself has to set herself as an example or role model herself has to follow then the toddler and the junior or anyone would see you or her then you know follow your steps sometimes especially at this era when everyone is going through massive psychological problems everywhere physical punishment or is not only the solution yes of course at times you need wax but then most important is the kind gesture love nurturing nurturing properly with warmth kindness love compassion respect very very important from the toddler age only everyone the story i wants to highlight that everyone should know or experience the idea of respect dignity idea of kindness generosity and not only of hatred anger beating that so in that in this way at the end how see how you know uh, lula beats magically massively transforms this thief small thief to a very very you know compassionate and at least a kind boy through her own action not by giving him lectures not by insulting him not by making him feel low not by making him guilty for what he has done yes of course she has made him feel guilty but not by insulting him or beating him but by loving him showing him that there is another bright side of human being there is a good side of life so this is a very very important lesson that the story wants to highlight you and convey to the audience okay next sample questions multiple choice question first one in thank you ma'am the woman was weak large frail tall she was large woman with large purse okay next in thank you ma'am the large woman was carrying a large pocket book a small purse a suitcase or a large bag it was a large pocket book next question short answer question why did mrs jones take the boy um with her to her house to wash him okay she takes him to the house or to clean him how old was roger about 14 15 or 15, some, something like that 14 15 right okay uh then long question and answer i am very sorry lady i am very sorry this is a dialogue or the line said by the boy when he was caught snatching the uh, bag okay of a woman and then he apologizes like he feels guilty who said this to whom this was said by roger to mrs lula bates washington jones and why you know right she was he was caught therefore he feels guilty and he wants to apologize for his mistakes and therefore he what apologizes and says sorry to the lady and uh, this is a, a summary link which i've taken from internet they, i told you before also there are several links available on internet please do check the link and you know take some important points make proper notes and summary for you such that you would know and understand and answer all the probable questions especially for your multiple choice question answer and short question and answer and long question and answer if you keep your notes ready it would be very very easy for you to prepare for your exam okay upcoming exam and yes 
in this way i would like to end my lesson here till then i will get back to you shortly with another lesson till then stay safe thank you